Hey guys, Ben Taylor here with Raw Motivations. Wanted to come on here. This is part six. Part six of the lies that I believe. If you haven't listened to some of the others, check out the very, very first one. So like the prequel to the six of them that we talked about so far, um, where it's the narcissist lies and the lies that I believe. And in that, I talk about some about going through the challenge, through the Wake Up Warrior Challenge. And I talk about going through that process and getting all the way to day 30 where we have to do uh, a walk. We have to do a hike. And in this hike, I have to go through and I have to pick out decent sized rocks and put them in my backpack. And each time I drop a rock into my backpack, it symbolizes a lie. It symbolizes something that I'm thinking that's inundated in my thought process, in my mindset, a lie that has been there for such a long period of time that I believe that's affecting who I am and it's affecting my growth. And as I walk around, as I take that hike with that backpack full of seven different rocks, I have to be able to take a look and I have to say, hey, what is the cost of all these lies? How has it destroyed my marriage? How has it hurt my connection? How has it destroyed my relationship with God, my destroyed relationships with others, with friends, with family, with work? What is the cost? And be able to look at that and say like, hey, the cost of this is pretty priceless. Like, how do you put a dollar amount? How do you put a cost, a price on the hurt that I've caused and the people that I've hurt? This process was done at the time of this recording about two years ago. And since then, it's that fight and that struggle of taking these lies, taking these stories, taking these fables that what I thought was true and working piece by piece one by one, to destroy them, to break them down and to replace them with truth. Replace them with the actual story of the situation. Replace them with facts. Replace them with the truth of the situation because the truth and the facts are what set you free from the lies you believe. And I believed a lot. If you haven't had a chance to watch all the other videos, there'll be like a playlist or something so you can go back and watch the others. And the lies that I believe, number one, I can do this on my own. Number two, I'm a good person. Number three, I deserve happiness. Number four, God is not good enough for me. Number five, I'm committed to Kayla. Number six, the sixth rock that I took and I picked up and I put in my backpack and I walked for miles with those rocks in my backpack. The sixth rock that I picked up was symbolizing of the sixth lie. And the sixth lie was just this, that I was in love with other women. I was in love with other women. So he comes out to it. I'm, I'm putting a thought, putting a story into my life that's saying this, that's saying, hey, I'm loving to this person. I'm loving to this person, to this person, to this person, to this person, to this person. But that's not true love. It's not true connection. And so I'd tell myself this lie. And what it does is it causes confusion. It causes emotional chaos for my own life. Because in reality, that's not true. In reality, like I don't know what's going on. Because I'm putting out pieces. I'm putting out future faking. I'm putting out love bombing. I'm putting out gaslighting. All these different types of things to try to organize, orchestrate, and keep everybody in line. While I'm trying to convince myself in my mind saying, hey... I'm in love with this person, this person, this person, this person. It affects in four different ways. Each one with the warrior group, we break it down in four different ways. Body, being, balance, business. So body, physically, how it affects. Being, my relationship with God. Balance, my relationship with my wife, with friends and family. Business, how I exude that in the work environment. So this lie, I was in love with other women. What did it do to my body? Expose me to STDs, to sickness, to a lot of different things that happened throughout the course of being involved with other women, to being involved in different affairs that put a lot of people in danger. I didn't think of that. It wasn't top of mind. It wasn't something that I was concerned about. It wasn't something that I was thinking about. Because remember the other lies... If God's not good enough, it doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter who I hurt. I deserve this. I'm entitled to it. I deserve happiness. I'm still a good person. I'm still committed to Kayla. It doesn't matter. And the lie that I was believing in this aspect was I was in love with all these different people. 
with being squelched out God's voice with other pleasures. I'm in love with these other people. Does it give me time to be in love with just one? Does it give me time to focus on God? Does it give me time to focus on anything else? Because, hey, my relationship with God is less important than my relationship without a fair partner. Than a relationship with my wife. Than a relationship with another person. Because remember, I'm more important. That's what I thought. That's what I believed. So I thought every single person, this next person, I'm in love with this person. This is going to be the one. This is going to be the one to fix me. This is going to be the one that will help me. That will change everything. This is going to be the true love. My soulmate. The perfect one. That's what I focus on. And the effect of that. And body being in balance. What it is. It distanced me from Kayla. From my wife. And ultimately, I didn't want her love. Like, I'm already committed to you. I'm not leaving. Remember that? From line number five. But it distanced me because I'm like, I'm not in love with you. I'm in love with someone else. This person, in my mind, I am more in love than I am with you. So why would I want that love? Why would I care? That mindset, that thought of saying, hey, I'm in love with someone else was a lie, was a fabrication, was a manipulation of that person, of myself, of saying like, hey, this is what I think when it's actually not true and it's not based on anything true. Because you can't go into it being like, hey, I'm going to love all six of these people. It doesn't work like that. Not in these type of relationships. Not in these type of affairs. The last one in business, distracted, loss of focus, and loss in business production. There's an aspect of when someone's in like the dating phase. You know how they kind of like tend to forget a lot of things? They forget to show up on time. You know, they forget, you know, different appointments. They forget different things because they're so enamored, infatuated with someone else. That's what I was. I was enamored. I was infatuated with another person, with another woman. So I was like, hey, I'm in love with this person. This is who I want to be with. I wouldn't do anything about it. I wouldn't go farther with it because remember, I'm committed to Kayla. So that keeps me locked into her. But this is who I really want to be with. This is who I see a life with. This is who I see a future with. And as a result, other things suffered. Obviously, my relationship with Kayla, business-wise, my relationship with the business suffered. I wasn't focused. I was focused on flirting instead of it was of focusing. I was focused on everything else but what I need to focus on for growth of the business, for growth of myself. But that lie permeated a lot of different things and a lot of different aspects, and I wanted to keep it separate. So I'd compartmentalize it. I'll put it in a box and say, hey, I'm committed to Kayla over here. I'm in love with another woman over here. Two separate things, two separate realities. Don't mess with either one. In between doesn't exist. I just jump. Come into Kayla, walk out of the house. Hey, I'm in love with another woman. Walk back in the house, come into Kayla. And that mindset, go back and forth, creates such chaos, such confusion emotionally that it affects everything. Of being more loving here because I'm more loving here. Or being angry here because I'm angry here. Or because I don't get attention here then I take it out over here. Like all this type of stuff goes back and forth and creates this mental chaos and confusion for everybody. And all because of that lie that I was believing underneath the surface that I am in love with these other people. That I'm in love with with this person. 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 And thinking that and how that affected my mindset, how that affected my relationship with Kayla, how that affected my relationship with God, my body, my being, my balance, my business, all helped destroy it in every aspect. What I work with people now is I work with people to try to identify the lies. But I don't start off, I don't say like, hey, what lies do you believe? Because nobody knows that. You know, if we knew that, then there wouldn't be lies. Sometimes it's lies that the narcissist puts around you And sometimes it's lies that you end up believing that you don't know that are there. When I first like saw these, like I didn't think like, oh, this is a lie. This is something that I'm putting in my head and that is an active lie. But I thought it was something I believed. It was something I thought that was real. But in reality, it was me lying to myself, lying to others, lying to everyone else around. And that lie that I was in love with other women, let me justify doing that to my wife hopefully some of these lies just being vulnerable here have been helpful for you guys 
to be able to see some of my mindset, some of the stuff that's going on, but then also some of the process of this is who I've been. This is who I'm not going back to be. So we've got one more lie coming up in the next video. Maybe we'll do some of the other aspects of the, the beliefs or the I will or the I don't want statements of like understanding like, hey, where I'm going from there. If that's something you're interested, kind of leave some comments, give me some feedback. We've been doing six of these so far, so I don't know how it's going yet. Um, but yeah, that's number six lie. If you want to talk sometime, click on the link below. If you haven't by now, subscribe to YouTube. We've got TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, dropping nuggets of truth every single day. Listen to the podcast under Raw Motivations. We've got Inspire and Motivate, kind of a subset of that. Empath versus Narcissist, kind of a subset under that. I'd love to have you interact. Just get out there and spread awareness about this because there's a lot more people getting abused and getting abused with narcissists, with toxic relationships, psychopaths, sociopaths, you name it. A lot more people out there getting abused that either don't realize it or that no one else realizes it. Spread the truth. Help people know what's going on. That's why I'm on this platform, to bring about awareness about narcissism, healing, growth, and change. See you next time.